Hello and welcome to Clarified Solutions Business Insights. Today I have the joy of presenting a very important topic to you and that is sharing your career highlights. What I've seen numerous times is as soon as people have the spotlight on them and have the opportunity to convey the value and the depth of their knowledge to others, they become like deers in the headlights, freeze up and don't quite know how to articulate this. But fear not, there is a way forward and most often that comes with building confidence over a successive um, period of time and also experiences. So firstly, your career highlights. Now my suggestion would be to do your background work prior to entering into these sorts of discussions where you have to be very much thinking on your feet and tailoring your response to your specific audience. When you have a quiet moment, be sure to sit down and deeply reflect on your career highlights. Why is it that they were so significant to you? What was it about it that particularly moved you or um, created a, a special place in your memory? Was it the outcome that was received by the people that the project was catering to? Or was it a particular sense of accomplishment given a commitment to a certain project that you had? So career highlights can come in many shapes and forms. It may be the first time your work was ever recognized of having particular value um, by those senior team members in your business. Or it could be the first time that you held a team meeting and you felt like it flowed seamlessly and the action points and outcomes were very clear and understood by all. Career highlights can come in a myriad of ways as discussed, but what's very important is being able to convey those career highlights to other people. That's where their true brilliance can shine through. It's all well and good for us to be aware of them ourselves, but then there will come a time for all of us, irrespective of whether we're employers or employees, where we need to actually share with people why it is that there is a particular relevant connection and the correct degree of competence for in order for there to be progress on a project or the opportunity to win a project. I've had many instances where people have said to me, so tell me about what you do. That's often a way into that discussion. And of course, there are so many different approaches and ways in which I can interpret that question. But what I truly understand is that they're trying to grapple with firstly, um, how would I define the work that I do? What are some of the industries that I work within? And what are some of those headline outcomes that you've managed to receive for those particular businesses? So for example, for myself, being a service provider of tenders and grants and also strategic business documents, when people say to me, so what do you do? I say, well, I'm a strategic writer focusing on state and federal government grants and tenders and strategic business documents. Depending on their response to that, I decide to continue further. And they may say, oh, so what projects have you worked on before? What have been some of the outcomes? What's your success rate with your project applications? And I share all of these details with them. What's important as well is how you actually frame this information. So for example, if you note that someone is particularly details oriented, then they may be interested to know the dollar amount, for example, in my instance, of grants that I've won for multiple businesses. They may be interested in knowing how many years I've, had, I've run my business for. They may want to know how many people I work with within my business. And um, they may want to know what was the story that inspired me to work in this space. So have all of these discrete areas of information ready to present in bite-sized chunks to people. This could be, as I said, one-to-one, -one, someone asking you perhaps at a networking event, or this could be your opportunity at a roundtable discussion uh, where everyone is sharing what it is that they do uh, for their professional work. Um, or it could even be in a social occasion that you're not anticipating um, where you know, you're offered the opportunity to potentially make another um, really valuable business connection. 
So be prepared and have clarity in your mind as to how it is that you want people to perceive the work that you do. One thing that I've noted as well and makes a huge difference, irrespective of what industries you represent or sit within, enthusiasm is essential. When talking about what you do, people know if you speak with passion about it or not. And it certainly creates a different takeaway for that particular person receiving that information. Imagine if you're pitching to a group of people, you're stumbling over your words, you're talking quietly, you're not quite certain of how to start and finish sentences. Um, you may even uh, say things that are undermining um, your own confidence or your trust and your ability to deliver certain projects that is not going to have a positive outcome for you. However, if you're open, you're warm, you ask for questions, you have, you know, very open body language and a voice that is really well projected and carries, very likely you will receive opportunities in that moment, or at least you will plant a seed of thought in those people's minds. So bear this all in mind. Who is your audience? What information do you want to share? How do you want them to go away from that interaction feeling? And what would you like them to most remember? Now, what happens after this opportunity to, of course, share your story and your career journey is the follow up, which is absolutely critical. So in the context of going to a networking event or an event where there's the opportunity to build your network in general, I would suggest making sure that within a 24 hour period, the people that you specifically connected with, that you follow up and you actually thank them for the opportunity to meet them and discuss with them both of your careers or your work experience so that this opens up the opportunity to connect with them in an ongoing capacity. So sharing your career journey. This is something as well that will evolve with you as your career changes over time. I've had the delight and the privilege to work across about seven industries. So this is why I'm able to contribute to such a diverse range of industries that I currently work with. These being 11 industries. I can combine my subject matter knowledge expertise and present compelling narratives for the businesses that I am supporting. So lean into those opportunities to share your career journey. Don't shy away from them, but most importantly, be prepared and show your enthusiasm. As always, I wish you all the best and every success. Take care. Thank you for joining us to uplevel your business skills and knowledge. Click the links below and subscribe to the Clarified Solutions social media platforms to receive regular updates. Weekly resources will be provided along with gifts to assist you in your journey in upleveling your business expertise and confidence. We look forward to continuing to support you in your journey as you become the leaders and the business experts you wish to be.